Hello, here is my Toyota Prius and I am going to show you how the hybrid system of a Prius can be converted into a super efficient mobile gas generator to power virtually any electronic you want using a power inverter like this. So I've converted my Prius into a camper. Um, I've been traveling the country in it for the past six months or so. Uh, this is a sleeping platform that I built where I sleep at night. Uh, I've done a lot of custom work in here. I have all kinds of electronics and I have a fridge and other stuff. And um, I did a video of me giving a tour of my Prius camper and I will put a link to that video in the description if you want to watch that. So basically I go off grid a lot and I go in the mountains and in the desert and I go to dispersed campsites like where I'm at right now and um, anybody that is into van life or they live in their car or they have an RV knows you have to have some source of electricity and most people use a either a solar power system or they have like a Jackery power station or a Yeti power station or they use a gas generator. Uh, the cool thing about a Prius and maybe other hybrid cars do it also, I'm not sure, but with the Prius I don't have to use any of those because I can run everything, all my electronics off the hybrid battery which is a really big battery uh, in the center of the car and I can do that without the gas engine idling the whole time. And while I'm traveling, I do a lot of my own cooking. Um, I have a microwave that I use. I have an instant pot pressure cooker that I cook in. And I have a little space heater right there. And as long as I have a power inverter like this, um, I can connect, it's a 1500 watt power inverter. I can, a pure sine wave inverter, I can connect it to the 12 volt battery and the 12 volt battery is char power charged by the hybrid battery and I can uh, run any of these electronics and the hybrid battery will basically power these and if the hybrid battery gets low then the gas engine will just kick on for like 30 to 60 seconds to just charge it up right quick. So basically uh, I'm, I wrote out a little drawing and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, this is a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter and I have it has a positive and a negative uh, cable and you connect them to the positive and negative terminals of the 12 volt battery which are under here so you can plug any electronic you want right here um, see it's got two plugs and I have the microwave plugged right there and as long as the Prius is turned on in ready mode um, then you can use any uh, you can power anything you want as long as it is under 1500 watts okay so this is how it works uh, basically uh, there's the gas engine okay the gas engine charges the hybrid battery the hybrid battery is really big it's right here it's in the center of the car um, it goes from right here all the way to over here and it's this wide from right there to right there it's a huge battery pack and the gas engine charges the hybrid battery okay it charges it very very quickly and the hybrid battery acts as an alternator okay and there's no alternator in a Prius and it charges the 12 volt battery which is under here at anywhere from 13.6 to a little over 14 volts as you can see right there see it says 13.7 volts that means the Prius is on I have it turned on right now so the hybrid battery charges the 12 volt battery then the 12 volt battery goes to the power inverter the electricity goes to the power inverter and um, I know uh, some of you watching this don't even know what a power inverter is. I'm going to try to explain this in very simple terms. Um, so the electricity basically uh, has to, it, you can't just connect the positive and negative, like you can't just cut open this cord. There's a positive and negative side in the bottom of this, uh, inside electrical cords. You can't just connect it to the 12 volt battery and expect it to work. It doesn't work like that. The electricity, I don't know exactly how it works, but the electricity has to be like inverted, converted to something different, like a different wavelength or, you know, it has to make it a different kind of electricity so you can use it for household appliances like this, like the microwave and stuff. Um, and the battery it goes there, uh, the electricity goes through the power inverter and finally to your electronics, that's a microwave. 
So yeah, uh, I can run, you know, virtually any electronics I want for as long as I want, um, as long as there's gas in the car. And if the battery gets low, then the gas engine will just kick on to recharge it, like I said. Um, and of course, you know, the high, the more powerful of uh, appliance you have or electronic, then the more the gas engine will cycle on to recharge it. Um, like, for example, this microwave is 700 watts. Uh, when I use it... Um, it usually kicks on, I would say, every three to four minutes for like 30 seconds or so when I'm using the microwave. Um, and then this little space heater I have, this thing's only 250 watts. Um, and it kicks on, it probably only kicks on every five to ten minutes for about 30 seconds when I'm using this. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then there's, uh, the, and really the cool thing is that, um, you're only using, if you think about it, you're only using the exact amount of gasoline that you need for the exact amount of electricity you're using. Um, because you're, the gas is burning, it's charging up the hybrid battery, and then you're burning, you're using the electricity from the hybrid battery, and then the gas engine is just charging back up. So it's real, that's why I call it a super efficient gas generator. And, I mean, you know, the poss the things that you could do with this power inverter, uh, you know, using this inverter on a Prius is, like, is endless. The possibilities are endless. I mean, um, I've had so many ideas. I mean, you could power a food truck. You could power a little camper, you know, like a little, uh, or you could even power the inside of an RV. Um, I know of people that have that uh, when the power went out on their house, they have powered their entire house with their Prius as an emergency generator. Um, I wouldn't suggest that. Honestly, I wouldn't suggest going over uh, 1,000 watts um, just just because, I don't know, I don't feel com comfortable going over 1,000 watts, but it's, you know, a lot of people do it. And then the other thing I was going to say is uh, if, if you get an inverter, uh, you want to make sure that it is a pure sine wave inverter. Um, they sell all kinds of inverters at uh, like Walmart and Home Depot and stuff. And But those stores do not sell pure sine wave inverters. They sell what's called modified sine wave inverters, which is a much cheaply, it's, it's a much cheaper quality inverter um they only sell these on amazon ebay and like specialty websites um and it, it's really hard to explain like basically just the the modified sine wave inverters if it says 1500 watts it won't truly power 1500 watts it'll only give you like 700 watts i don't know why they do that but these mo these pure sine wave inverters will truly give you 1500 watts um, but just to be safe, I wouldn't go over like two thirds of what it's rated. Uh, this one's at 1500 watts. I don't like to go over like a thousand to 1100, maybe 1200 watts. I would I would never try to push it up to 1500 watts. Um, but that's just me. Um, and also the other thing is there is a uh, 120 amp fuse built on to the top of the 12 volt battery of a Prius. Um, so just in case anything ever did overloaded, then that fuse will just blow, which is really nice. And then here I, uh, I took this cover off. I'll just show you a little bit uh, in greater detail. Um, this is the 12 volt battery. Uh, I have the positive cable right there. That's the terminal, and then this is the positive cable where I have it bolted to. And then the, for the ground cable, I drilled a separate ground right here. That's the ground for the the 12 volt battery, and this is the ground for the power inverter. The power inverter has a uh, much thicker ground cable, so I just uh, went ahead and made it a new ground. I got some sandpaper, and I uh, sanded it down so the bare metal is exposed. And then I went to Ace Hardware, and I got a whole new bolt and washer and everything else and uh, fit just fine there. Actually, this uh, the hole right there, was a, there was a bolt already there, and I took it out and replaced it with this uh, stainless steel bolt. So it's a nice, clean uh, ground connection. And the fuse is right here. This is the 120 amp fuse I'm talking about. Um, it's right there, that thing. So if, if it ever went over 120 amps, the electricity goes through that fuse, you know, it would blow the fuse. And uh, also, most inverters already have like over circuit protection. This is a really high quality inverter. 
it has uh, like six different kinds of protection. It has, what does it have? It has overheating protection, um, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, and a few other different kinds of protections. So it just shuts off. If, if it ever got to a point to where it would get damaged, it would just shut off and this little red fault light would come on. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put a link for this inverter in the description if you want to uh, look at it. I got it on Amazon. I think I paid $200 for it. And uh, yeah, and the other thing is um, I wanted to stress is uh, be very careful when you install these inverters. Make sure that it is installed properly. Make sure that these connections are very tight and not just the, this cap that screws on and off, but this, the little plastic ring against the inverter can come loose also. So make sure everything is screwed tight. I would make sure to double check the wires every day that you use it. Like always check the wires and make sure everything's snug because if there's a loose wire or a loose connection somewhere, it can cause the wires to overheat and you don't want that to happen. And I would suggest using really thick wire too. This is four gauge, but uh, even thicker than that, like two gauge or zero gauge would be even better. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, I, th I think. I think I covered everything. And uh, yeah, I hope that helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.